Hey guys, this is the Prince of Mastodon, and I'm doing a commentary video for a Rome Total War multiplayer. This is the Mastodon vs. Scythia battle. I command my faithful Macedonians, and my opponent, Imperator Josephus, commands the Wily Scythians. We'll look at my Macedonian army first. On the front ranks, I have uh, Royal Pikes. Behind them, I have a whole clod of Cretan archers, backed by a few uh, regular archers. And my cavalry force consists of companion cavalry and Greek cavalry. And you can tell by the sheer amount of Cretans that I have that this is being played at a bigger money level that I'm typically accustomed to. Um, we'll look at the uh, Scythian army now of Imperator Josephus. You can see his uh, chosen archers. He has a bunch of them. Then they are backed by a, a maxed out amount of headhunting maidens. So he has six squadron of those, I believe. And his other cavalry, he has two squadrons of those... Um, those uh, noble archer guys, and um, he intermixed some uh, axemen with his uh, head hunting maidens here, just hoping to uh, throw off my um, my outlook at his army. But um, when you see a whole bunch of uh, troops like clustered like that, you know there's something up. And right here are his um, his archers here, his uh, horse archers. I mean, and these are the hev heavily armored variety. Typically, at a lower money. People would be using the uh, the regular horse archers, but because this is being played at a bigger level, then um, he's using those guys, just like I'm using these Cretans. And um, I do love my Cretans, historically speaking. These were um, one of Alexander's um, most trusted uh, light infantry units. Like they became very useful when Alexander went east, because in, when he went east, um, he fought against a lot of uh, opponents who were. Um, who were more uh, loose in the way they fought. They fought very guerrilla style, and so the Cretans and um, Alexander's other uh, light infantry units, they became more important. Anyways, um, I'm coming forward here. My opponent plans to uh, outshoot me with his uh, foot archers and his horse archers, so uh, theoretically he could outshoot me. And um, here's a look at his army. He just uh, weighed down his uh, right wing here with all of his, uh, his axemen and um, half of his uh, headhunting maidens. So when somebody does that, when like when somebody puts all of his troops on one wing, then you could almost expect him to to attack on that side. But it could always be a deception. He might be trying to deceive you of his intentions. But um, you can always plan. Like you can plan to receive his attack, or you can plan to um, to shift to shift sides of the battlefield if he shifts sides. So you gotta be um, always on the lookout for different tactical possibilities. Anyways, my opponent, he hosted this uh, battle, and you can tell that it's being played at a very uh, huge uh, unit scale. Those are my Royal Pikes, very awesome indeed. Uh, so um, historically speaking, the uh, Scythian army was very dependent on its uh, cavalry force. The, uh, the bulk of its cavalry would be composed of of light horsemen, and those were your horse archers. But they also had a uh, a shock component for their recovery, and that was made up of the heavily armored um, nobility. And they were mainly like like local princes. And I guess you could say on this game they would be represented by the by the noble horsemen. But um, they also had a a infantry component, and the infantry consisted of the uh, the poorer folk of Scythia. These were guys who could not afford horses, and they, um, they had some pretty uh, cheap weaponry. But um, Scythian weaponry, it ranged from spears to axes to maces. They had a lot of uh, very good quality weapons, considering they were barbarians. Uh, anyways, uh, there's some action going on, so let's go look at the action. My opponent launched his, um, his horse archers into my Cretans. This is a uh, skirmishing right here. So I'm going to drive them out with my companions. And um, because those are heavily armored horse archers, those guys can't really run away that well. But uh, I'm just going to chase them out. I wasn't too worried about my Cretans, to be honest. So I just kind of uh, kind of scared them away. And there they go. And as I said in another video, those guys have very sweet armor. Alright, so... I'm driving back my opponent using my Royal Pikes. I'm just going to push his army out. 
and um, by doing so, I'm going to um, disconnect his troops from each other, make it more chaotic for him, and hopefully, in all that chaos, I can come out the better. But um, you never know. That's why it's called chaos. Anyways, here my opponent, he saw an opening. He's going to try to attack my rail pikes here from the uh, from the sides. That's where they're weakest, or from the rear as well. But um, he saw that as an opportunity to uh, annihilate my roll pikes, but unfortunately for him, my roll pikes, they held their ground, so he's going to uh, withdraw his um, head hunting maidens there. So yeah, I'm just going to keep driving his uh, troops back here. I just want to uh, disorient my opponent right now. And I'm not going to launch my cavalry just yet. I want to wait for a, um, a better moment to attack with my cavalry. Alright, and there is the bulk of my cavalry. Those are my companions and my Greek cavalry. Alright, now you can see some major movement from my cavalry now. I see some of his head hunting maidens here. One got isolated, so I'm going to uh, surround it. And I um, just want to destroy that. The problem with head hunting maidens is that they're really cheap in terms of cost, but they have these um, armor piercing axes, so they are the match for heavily for heavy cavalry in the game. Anyways, I routed his general, or oh, I killed them, so that's going to play to my benefit because with barbarians, these guys not only live by by striking fear into your morale, they also they can also die by by loose morale. So basically because uh, morale is such a big factor in these barbarian battles is that one faction, either the barbarian or the civilized faction, will have this like, massive chain route. And so that's what makes these uh, battles against barbarians very unpredictable, but very fun. Anyways, um, I have destroyed half of my opponent's uh, headhunting maidens in that little uh, cavalry assault there. And that was the, um, the moment I was looking for. Before I launched my cavalry, I wanted it to be a uh, decisive moment. And here's my roll pikes, they have pushed the enemy back. Now I'm going to drive right by him with my cavalry. And I'm going to let my cavalry do the uh, mopping up here. And um, what I want to do is take out these uh, foot archers before they rally. And here my opponent, he's going to try to save his foot archers with a uh, charge from his head of the maidens. But I have so much uh, cavalry compared to his now, that my little blob of Macedonian cavalry is just going to, um, it's going to uh, outweigh his attack. So there's no more finesse in my cavalry assaults now, I'm just going to um, overpower my opponent with uh, sheer numbers now. So there's this headhunting maidens, they're going to run away into um, into friendly troops. But I already anticipated that, you can see my real pikes coming into the fray too. So I'm launching everything at this little uh, blob of uh, Scythian troops here. And so his uh, foot archers there are going to start routing. And here's the last remaining blob of Scythian troops, and I'm going to launch every single one of my uh, Macedonians right into them. So here's this big, uh, this big swarm of Macedonians right into the Scythians, and his Scythians are going to uh, lose their morale here. But um, yeah, this became a very big, um, very big cavalry fight. Like the infantry played very little part in the battle. As far as um, casualties were concerned, the uh, infantry wasn't really a factor. But they did play a tactical role in um, in driving my opponent's uh, troops where I wanted them to. So uh, basically, I was using my my rope pikes as a containment force because honestly, you can't really expect your opponent to engage your um, your pikes, not if he's using um, like cavalry. So um, that was the end of the battle. Anyway, that was the end of the battle. It was a clear victory, and I'll let you read the results yourself. But um, hope you guys enjoyed this, and good game to Imperator Josephus.